Hey there, welcome to this Yoga for Rugby video. Thank you for joining. My name is Collie. Hope you're doing really well today. Uh, we've got a 30 minute class or so to focus on a few different things to keep your body in the best possible place, uh, strong and supple for uh, playing rugby. Um, we'll target a few different areas, particularly shoulders and upper body. I know you're going to feel kind of tight after a lot of rugby playing. Also, we're going to focus on strengthening and stretching out hip flexors, quads, calves, um, a few twists, a little focus on easing any lower back pain as well. Loads of different stuff. Hopefully should be a good thing to do once a week, once every couple of weeks, just to keep your body in a kind of strong and supple place so that you can come back to the pitch, uh, steer clear of injury and just keep your body in the best possible place to uh, keep up with your performance. So whenever you're ready let's find a seat we're going to start on our mats seated that's all you need just a yoga mat. Get comfortable in a cross-legged position maybe if that's not good for you just take the legs out long whatever feels good we'll take a little bit of movement just to kind of ease into it get rid of any fidgeting shake out the hands give the shoulders a roll wiggle the jaw shake out the head and then before we just kind of get moving properly let's take a moment just to close the eyes and really just kind of transition into the class Take a step back from whatever you were doing previously and start to focus, start to channel your focus inwards in towards your body. So it might be worth doing a little body scan, checking in with your shoulders, any tension there, just soften them up. Same thing with the face, relax the skin on it. And really just allow your legs, your feet, your sitting bones to feel nice and heavy, grounded on the floor. And notice your posture as well. If you feel that you're, like you're slouching down, think about puffing up the chest a little bit, crown of the head nice and high, so you're feeling alert. With the eyes closed, let's take three or four soft breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Enjoy just taking a moment to notice how your breathing feels. Notice how your breathing sounds. And maybe just make an effort to make the next inhale that you take a little bit deeper, a little bit longer, and a little bit softer. And then do the same thing with the exhale. Just see if you can slide into a rhythm where both inhale and exhale are a little bit longer. And generally just the breath is a little bit calmer and softer. Just spending 30 seconds or so focusing on channeling that slightly slower breath will hopefully allow yourself to feel nice and calm, grounded before you get moving. So that when you do come to move, your movement is considered and controlled and not rushed or forced. And so whenever you're ready, let's take the hands down by our sides. We'll lift the arms above the head with the breath in. Bring your palms together. And as you exhale, gently lower your arms back down again. We'll do that one more time. Try and straighten your arms so there's no bend in the elbow. Inhale, lift up hands. And then exhale, lower them. One more time. As you bring your hands together this time, let's slide the right hand down to the left knee. We'll sweep the left hand behind us. We're coming into a twist. You can look over your left shoulder. Might take some shuffling around if you need to. Breathe. Enjoy the twist. And then straight away, sweep the left hand to the right knee. We'll do the same thing here. Think about puffing up your chest, lengthening your spine as you twist. You can look over your right shoulder this side. And then just gently come out of it. And we'll make our way towards our all fours. You can kind of shake out the hands as you get there. A little bit of movement into the bum and the hips. You can shake out whatever you need to shake out. Maybe start to take some cat cow poses. Really great one just to loosen out the spine. So let's take an inhale to soften the belly down. You want to look forwards as you open your chest. And with the exhale, draw your chin back in towards your chest and push with your hands. We're rounding the back. Inhale, open out, feel your back arch. 
and then with the exhale feel the back round you want to make space between your shoulder blades one more time breathing in open out and then breathing out find that space and push tailbone lengthening down to the ground you can take as long as you need here before taking a seat and we'll drop the bum onto the heels now a little focus on the shoulders here let's interlock the fingers around the back we're going to fold over our thighs so chest comes down onto the thighs you want to sweep your hands up and over the head coming into your rabbit pose the forehead can relax on the ground and I recommend taking three or four breaths here try and really sweep your arms and your hands up and over the head start to notice the heat the tension in the arms the shoulders breathe Take your time to come out of it and we'll place the hands down onto the mat and we'll make our way to our downward facing dog. Take your time, you can lift the bum, lift the hips and maybe straight away don't worry too much about alignment or what your downward dog looks like, just start to pedal the feet out quite a lot, you're bending one knee, straightening the other leg, just pushing with the hands quite a lot so you can feel the heat and the muscles on the backs of your legs, stretching them out. Do it a few times, go quick, go slow. And then go ahead and find some stillness. You might want to look towards your hands. Just make sure the fingers are really wide and the hands are on the same kind of line. They want to also be shoulder width. Relax your head. Look towards your feet. Make sure your feet are straight. And don't worry about your heels getting down towards the ground. Maybe bend your knees quite a lot to help that. Take a moment here, suck in your tummy, and enjoy a long breath in and a long breath out. On your next inhale, let's lift the right leg towards the ceiling. Take it nice and high, enjoy the stretch. Now have a look in between your hands. Take the foot and step it in between them. Now if your foot doesn't make it, just shuffle the foot forwards. Drop your left knee once you're there, and then lift the arms above the head and we'll come into a low lunge nice one to really stretch out the quads here on the left side the hip flexors here as well you want to scoop your chest up towards the ceiling to exaggerate it relax your shoulders as you do breathe and then when you're ready just take the hands down onto the ground you want to shuffle your right foot all the way out towards the right keep your hands inside your right foot lizard pose of your choice so you may want to keep the hands on the ground you may want to go down to your forearms go a little bit deeper targeting the groin here just a couple of deep breaths into whatever you feel left knee can nudge to the back of the mat and right foot can nudge out to the right relax the head breathe slowly and then come back onto your hands and we'll shuffle the right foot into the middle of the mat prepare for our half splits so we're getting into the hamstrings here you can draw the bum back straighten out your right leg point your toes towards your face kick your heel away from you and lift your chest high let's take a couple of breaths into it before rolling forwards let's take a step back to our plank position so shoulders above the wrists fingers nice and wide channeling a bit of strength you can push with the hands the space in between your shoulder blades squeeze the glutes the core and then look slightly forwards let's drop the knees the chest the chin all the way down to the ground you can find a cobra by lifting the uh, chest as you press with the hands slight bend in the back take your time here you may want to just kind of stay for a little bit look left look right give your shoulders a roll just ease into it and then push back to your downward facing dog maybe via your child's pose we'll do the same thing on the other side left leg high take it slow step forwards drop your back knee inhale to lift up the arms maybe there's some shuffling around left foot goes forwards you might want to take the back knee back lift the chest a little bit higher arms straight breathe and then we'll do the same thing here so hands go down let's take the left foot out to the left you may need some sort of movement just to get deeper into it maybe forearms go down or maybe you're just staying on your hands 
couple of breaths just to really tune into how this feels for you feel the stretch release tension with your exhale and then let's shuffle the left foot back into the middle and we'll find our half splits so your hips want to be square to the front of the mat here you may need to drive your right hip forwards and your left sitting bone back chest high foot flexed and then roll forwards step back to your plank let's do the same thing we'll drop the knees the chest the chin all the way down cobra press with the hands lift your chest and then push on back to your downward facing dog from here I recommend taking a step or a jump to the front of the mat I'm going to channel a bit of strength in the glutes bring your feet together knees together bend your knees and lift up your arms you want our tailbone lengthening down to the ground you want to lift up your arms maybe so much so your biceps are kind of squeezing your ears look up high breathe and then forward fold and shuffle the feet hip distance apart grab your elbows bend your knees quite a lot take a swing from side to side and enjoy a ragdoll pose loosening out your face your head I really recommend bending your knees quite a lot chest on thighs let's take the hands down start to straighten one leg keep the other knee bent and then do the same thing with the other leg just to kind of tap into your hamstrings here a little bit of lengthening before coming back to center with the feet so bring your big toes together ankles together bend your knees chair pose one more time this time see if you can lower the bum a little bit deeper we want all the weight in our heels you can look down at your feet see if you can see all of your toes if you can't draw your knees back could even lift up 10 toes off the ground test yourself look up high and then move with the exhale forward fold step jump back to your plank whatever you want to do and then I recommend just knees chest chin all the way down inhale Cobra exhale push back down dog taking your time you may feel that you want to like pedal the feet out a little bit I think you're wagging the tail of your dog again just to ease and then find some stillness keep your feet straight relax the face long breath in long breath out continue to push with your hands particularly the fleshy bit at the base of your thumbs when you're ready let's take the right leg high we're gonna gaze forwards and step in between the hands again again if the foot doesn't make it if it's only halfway just shuffle it along and then lift the arms above the head we'll come into a high lunge take your time to get your balance keep your hips square to the front of the room right knee wants to be above the right ankle so this in itself really nice stretch for the left hip flexors kick your left heel away from you strong or bend the knee whatever feels good for you and then we'll open it out to a warrior two so back foot will go down let's sweep the arms wide and you really want to go deep into the right knee here so the knee is above the ankle thighs almost parallel to the ground arms symmetrical let's take the gaze over the right hand we'll flip the palm and reverse the warrior so left hand left thigh right arm up towards the ceiling awesome stretch for the intercostal muscles here you want to take the right fingers a little bit higher you want to lunge deeper into the right knee a little glance up towards your right hand don't forget to breathe in your own time let's sweep the arms back up to a T we'll straighten our right leg we'll point the toes towards the long left side of our mat where we're gonna enjoy a little side bend left hand left thigh right arm up and over again finding that space down the right side and then we'll sweep it up and over do the same thing on the other side before coming back to a T with your arms and let's forward fold so point your toes in towards each other as you uh, hinge at your hips head on down you can use your hands on the ground for support bend your knees quite a lot that will definitely help and then we twist from here again finding that space in the upper body so right hand down left hand up little gaze up towards the left hand with your right eye before taking the left hand down doing the same thing with the other side so as we twist we really want our spine to lengthen so crown of the head extend it away from the bum try not to veer your head off to the side that you're twisting and then come on down with both of your hands let's swivel we're going to face the front of the mat 
we're going to drop the back uh, knee again and find our half splits little variation this time you can point your toes towards your face maybe keep the left hand down and then reach your right arm behind you could even look towards your right hand breathe keep your legs strong come back to center if you want a hip flexor strengthener lift the right heel off the ground again don't forget to breathe see if you can hold it a little bit longer place it down roll forwards and let's step back to our plank where we will take another gentle vinyasa drop the knees relax the tops of the feet lower chest and chin inhale to your cobra and then exhale as you push back maybe via your child's pose might feel good we'll do the same thing on the other side before you move take your time in your downward dog just to kind of press reset let your body catch up inhale lift the left leg high exhale step forwards breathe in engage your core squeeze your thighs together to lift up and then open it out so the back foot goes down as the arms go wide you may want to think about lining the left heel with the arch of your right foot keep your shoulders stacked on top of your hips for now soft breath let's flip the palm and reverse it so with the left arm being straight we want our torso to be kind of reaching up towards the ceiling rather than crashing down onto the right ribs here so think of lifting up from your upper body deep lunge into your left knee look up to the left hand straight left arm and then come back to a T with your arms we'll straighten our left leg point toes to the right again little side bend find that space make sure you do both sides keep your chest open rather than close down to the ground and then as we fold this time interlock your fingers behind you we'll target the shoulders as we go down breathe in puff up your chest and then exhale as you uh, fold again hinging at your hips take your time here bend your knees quite a lot take a swing enjoy it loosen out the head the face the lips allow the blood to rush down towards your head nice soothing effects before dropping your hands and this time as you twist right hand goes down left hand goes up you could take it further by bending your left elbow just sliding the hand down the back towards your right thigh maybe even grabbing the left ankle with your right hand maybe the knee maybe the shin whatever is, is accessible same thing on the other side left hand up right hand up now you may just stay here with the arms straight or you could do the same thing bend your right elbow slide the hand down and the left hand can grab the outside of the right leg again keep your spine straight before coming out of it and we'll enjoy a side squat from here we need to walk your hands towards your left foot bending your left knee so the right leg is straight and then walking your hands towards the right foot bending the right knee so the left leg is straight I'll turn to you a little bit of a better angle we're walking our hands towards one foot as the knee bends and then walking them all the way over towards the other side I recommend just kind of doing it four or five times go a little bit deeper into it each time try and be nimble try and be light nice one for the groin here just to stretch it out the muscles on the insides of the legs maybe even holding at one end come to the left foot bend the left knee extend your left arm and lift your right arm up to the ceiling you can open out the chest and then the same thing on the other side right hand down and left hand up now when you're ready we'll take a swivel we'll face the front of the uh, mat again so the left foot will be at the front of the mat drop the back knee let's find our half splits one more time hamstrings getting a nice lengthening in this session you can stay there or maybe take that twist right hand down and left hand behind you if you are going for that option just keep your hips square to the front of the mat keep your legs strong you may need to um, drive your right hip forwards and your left sitting bone back little glance to the left hand come out of it and then maybe hip flexor strength lifting the left heel off the ground nice challenge breathe and then come out of it roll forwards step back to your plank you can take the knees relax them onto the ground relax the tops of the feet and then hover on down with control 
Inhale to your cobra, so we're pressing with the hands, lifting the chest, and then exhaling as you push back to your downward facing dog. And we'll take a, a long breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, before taking a step or a jump to a seated position. We'll come and take a seat on the bum, cross your legs, sit on down, take your time. And we'll bring the feet together. So we want the knees to be out wide. We're gonna continue to get into the groin here, butterfly pose, and grab your feet. Maybe shuffle feet in towards the body, if that is accessible. Or just keep them out in front of you so there's a bit of a, a kind of diamond shape in front of you. Whatever is feels good. And we're gonna start to move the knees up and down. Uh, you can think about doing it quickly, do it slowly, whatever feels good. Wherever you are, I recommend lifting the chest, spine tool, so your upper body is kind of lifting up out of your torso, of your hips. Butterfly wings, kids yoga, always good time to ask them what uh, colour their wings are today. <laughs> and whenever you're good to come out of it we're going to take a forward fold over our legs so cross your feet cross your legs see it position inhale lift up your arms exhale fold just take it wherever you can take it so maybe the hands are just in front of you you can feel it in the hips start to activate the glutes a little bit just walk the hands forwards relax the head close your eyes and sit with it for two or three breaths before coming back up. Let's cross the legs in the other way. So maybe the left foot this time is in front of the right. And again, lift up the arms and then fold as you exhale. So the hands just kind of going wherever they can go. Maybe you want to reach forwards, shuffle it along. Maybe look forwards rather than down. If you look down, you can start to round your back. So keep your chest open. Breathe into it. and then come back out with control. And I like the right foot in front of the left, so I'm gonna go for that one just to be comfortable. We're gonna take our hands behind us, we're gonna target the neck. A little bit of a stretch for the neck. You might find that it gets quite tense from lots of different things within rugby. So once you've got your fingers interlocked behind you, let's slide the hands all the way to the right side of the hip. So just on the pelvis, find something to lodge it up against. Once you're there, let's drop the ear down towards the shoulder of that side. So, heading down to the right this time, and you can really feel a nice lengthening uh, for the sternocleidomastoid, massive muscle down the side of your neck, big triangular one. You can stay here, just lengthening it out. Make sure the left knee and the left sitting bone are drawing down. Maybe look down, look up. Sort of targets different areas within that muscle. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Take your time. Sweep them over. And then relax the head down on that side. Relax the face. And open the mouth. And as with all of these kind of slightly still, quieter poses, with each exhale, just think of releasing and kind of going a little bit deeper into it. We'll come out of it slowly. Straighten out our legs. I'm gonna bring a bit of um, core strengthening into it. When you're ready, bring the knees towards your chest. You wanna grab the backs of your knees with your hands. Thighs together, feet together. Lift up your feet. And see if you can make sure your shins are parallel to the ground. You wanna really squeeze the legs together, release your arms. Try not to dump into your lower back. We wanna lift the chest. You can stay there or come with me. Take a breath in, straighten out your legs, lower the back, and then exhale to come all the way back up. So we're breathing in lengthening out and then exhaling to engage hip flexors and core to come back up breathe in stretch out breathe out squeeze inhale go low exhale high one more time see if you can hold it here this time pedal the feet out just for an extra challenge don't forget to breathe come all the way back up hold it for a moment keeping your gaze steady and then just gently hover yourself down 
slower the better take a moment just to relax the back of the head relax your hands let any sensation subside before bending your left knee let's place the left foot on the ground we'll take the right foot to the left thigh coming into reclining pigeon run and stretch whatever you want to call it really good one to stretch out the glutes let's thread the right hand in between the gap of our legs you can interlock fingers around the thigh or the shin of your left leg once you're in place gently draw the knee in maybe the head comes off of the ground you want to flex your feet take a few breaths here could even nudge the, the right knee forwards to go a little deeper into it I quite like just getting my hand and nudging it forwards just to go a little deeper in get some more purchase and then we'll straighten out the left leg take it down onto the ground keep your right knee where it is for now grab hold of it with your left hand let's sweep our right arm all the way up towards the right and we'll come into a supine twist left hand will take the knee all the way over towards the left you coming into your twist now you may find that the um, shoulder and the upper body is kind of rolling over with your right knee which is a natural tendency if that's the case come back up to center with the knee make sure the shoulder is down properly root it down and then just take the knee as far as it will go you can look over to your right hand taking three or four slow and deep breaths into probably quite a lot of tension maybe in the glutes here ITV area feel a softness in your belly as you twist and then come out of it slowly let's take the right foot onto the mat with the right knee bent let's prepare for our reclining pigeon on this side so left foot right thigh and again thread the hands in flex your feet you can lift up you can kind of hug it in maybe the hand comes through and you can push the left knee forwards here again just go with whatever feels good for you try and find that sweet spot where you're challenging yourself but not pushing it too far and then just gliding into your twist from here you know where to go let's keep the left shoulder down and you can kind of take as long as you need here just finding that stretch for the glutes on the left side working on lengthening your spine before coming back to center and let's come back onto the back and we'll draw both knees into the chest here you can take any last little movements perhaps grabbing your knees you can squeeze wrap the arms around the legs grab your elbows take a little rock or roll and have a little roll around you can massage the muscles out from the back maybe grab your knees and take some little circles with the hands just to loosen out the hips then when you're ready we'll find our final place a place of rest you can sprawl your legs out onto the ground let your arms relax down by your sides and go ahead and take a couple of deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth nice and satisfying releasing tension just closing the eyes you can take as long as you need here just allowing your body to find some stillness enjoy the replenishing effects of a shavasana pose just taking your time to really observe and notice how you feel after that movement and really just relaxing into the pose if you feel that the attention has wandered off at all just bring it back towards the body and back towards your breathing and you can really stay here as long as you want otherwise take some gentle movements back into the fingers and the toes you can reach the arms along above the head just enjoy a full body stretch just notice how you feel and take your time to roll to one side and we'll return to a seated position just before we finish 
Maybe finding a comfortable seat, close your eyes, and just take a moment to reflect and observe and notice any kind of changes in the body, changes in the mind. Hopefully you feel pretty good. Just take your time to thank yourself for your practice. Nice one for uh, letting me guide you through this class. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for taking the time to do so. Namaste. Take it very easy. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the day, whatever you're up to. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch. Uh, please do have a little browse on the website as well. Loads of other videos up there that may be of benefit to you. And of course, please do pass this vid on to anyone that you might feel the benefit from it. Awesome stuff. Hope to see you very soon. See you later. Take it easy.